Because if we shut people like Adnan down, who's left? But right, do you know he's what I mean? been trying to shut down other people by calling them Islamophobes and, and extremists. So, and so what, I, what you... It's like, the police police today four times. it's like what they say, what you put out I, I will come back I that bit I understand, as a prophet, that's what it must have do. Do you understand what I'm saying? When, when did you suck his grandson's tongue? I'm going to read it to you now. On some of the most, uh, let's say, uh, let's just say, like things that even his own Muslim brothers confirm it's him in the video. And he still two weeks ago said it wasn't him. He also said that. And I like I to said say that, well, that video, he said it wasn't him. Originally. Wait, wait I can't. I'm gonna wait, wait, wait. And and say, I, I didn't yeah, see but it, let me just make a point. Yeah, yeah that yeah. video, he yeah. said it was doctored. But yeah. that video is 10 years old. I've seen the original one and it tells you, know, YouTube tells you the upload date. Right. So it was, it's not doctored because it was uh, uploaded with a lot of other seminars and they're all 10 years old, which is so my question, 2000, my question to 2009 you, like, when they were uploaded. As a Christian and as a Sikh, I want you to answer this. How much of this is personal vendetta and how much of it is genuine concern? Be honest. Me, I don't have a personal vendetta, but when I see hypocr hypocrisy in the park, because what he does, he spits out dangerous rhetoric against Christians and say, for like example, um, the, no, not even that, no, wait, 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 not even that, the, the New Zealand killer, yeah, yeah, yeah. he said he yeah. was a Christian yeah, yeah. and he, read his manifesto, he, he, he doesn't call himself a Christian, so why are you, if you're, um, if you've read the manifesto, and you know he's not a Christian, you, why are you telling people he's a Christian? You're either deceiving people or you're doing it with malice. This is why I approach him with the same standard. And the first time I approached him, I explained this to him. What I see you do, I'm coming with the same level of evidence and same standard to but explain your hypocrisy. I'm saying, like, it's not me, about as, a, as someone from the outside, yeah, yeah, you know, like, I have respect for you. I always have a, I have respect for the brother here, yeah. the Christian. I always treat you with respect, yeah? And it, it's not Takiya, by the way, or anything. It's genuine. I see you as my brother in humanity and stuff. And I don't even get into the Christian Muslim polemics. That's not my thing. I don't. I, just let you, you lot do your thing. But I feel like someone, I've watched Speaker's Corner from afar like many people, yeah? yeah. I feel like sometimes it's because you lot have had, you, you lot are at each other every week. And Raj will probably be like, Christian, Muslim, he's the big guy from the Muslim point of view and you guys are like the big guys from the Christian point of view. How much, and I understand your hypocrisy uh, point. Yeah, but I this do. is the thing. Before I approach but I don't, but yeah, do but you honestly think he's an extremist? Let me just reply one more time. Do you think he's an extremist? I don't think he's an extremist. Yeah, but let me just reply. When I approached him, he had never ever said anything negative about me. I did not need to have a vendetta against him. I just, like I said, that that's my evidence against myself that I had no vendetta because I approached him and he had never said anything negative against me. So my thing was what I saw him doing. He calls people Islamophobes. He tells, he says, you're a paid agent. A paid agent from who? I, 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 now, you know, now, now as a learned, um, that's my problem. As a, if he was an ignorant person, like a low IQ person, no, I he can get away he's, with he's it. But if you're intelligent, yeah. well, I see people who are intelligent, it's malice. It's like premeditated murder but, versus unplanned murder. Listen, I'm going to agree with you on most of what you said, but there are, unfortunately, there are yeah, agents but, here. Yeah, but like, I'm we, saying... We know there, there is. There's people that... Yeah, but he, with, uh, unless he has evidence, propaganda. why are you throwing no, that, that, that You can't that, just throw that, 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 that Exactly. Let, yeah, I agree with you. But I think this whole kind of notion of Adnan linking him to Sheikh Fahd, something that was maybe All right, so, so, so oh, long ago. Let me, ago. Let me finish, let me finish. Yeah, yeah. So long ago, yeah, mm. right? I've seen him like first hand, like, and yeah. I'm saying this from on my son's life, yeah, right? I've seen him, you know, the real extremists that come and try to cause division. I've seen him shut him down. I've seen it when I first came. That's when my opinion changed of yeah. him, myself, as well. Yeah. He, there was extremists playing, oh, yeah, the Kufar, this Kufar. He goes, what are you talking about? He was vicious on that. All right, so, yeah, yeah but now. Sheikh, Sheikh Faisal was linked to Adnan Rashid through Abu Qasim. What is the reason why Abu Qasim is in prison? Abu Qasim, one minute. Abu Qasim is in prison for distributing videos and lectures of Sheikh Faisal. One of them, including literature, telling 12-year-old kids to make IEDs and bombs. We know that. So the point is, in 2003, uh, in 2003, Adnan Rashid, yeah, yeah, but, 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 Rashid yeah, but the point is, why would you deny Yeah, but the point is, why is it when Adnan Rashid was approached, 
I mean, sorry, actually, when Steve approached um, Abu Qasim and was asking him about, um, what's his name, Andrew Chowdhury, yeah, yeah, yeah. he said, if you cannot answer, I will answer for you. And you why? Know why? Wait, 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 let me just finish, let me, let me just finish my point. Yeah, yeah, because you said he, he yeah. shut down people. Yeah. Why is it then this person, in, despite everyone's claims, you just didn't bat an eyelid to what, what the that. claims were. He said worse though. No, 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 no. He let me answer. No, let me answer. Follows an extremist. So with Adnan, with Adnan, with Adnan, with Adnan, with Adnan, he's very close to Muslim. Right? My son was ill. Yeah, he was in hospital. We got meningitis. Adnan doesn't know me. He was messaging me on Facebook. Oh, how's your son? He'd call me. How's your son? Bro, the guy didn't know me. Like, Jeremy, you know I mean? he only seen me once at speak. Adnan's very close to Muslim. So he follows the principle of always having a good opinion. Now, unfortunately, on this occasion, that has let him down. So when you got videos of Abu Qasim going to, bro, half the time when these lot go for dinner and stuff like, you don't know who what this next man. Yeah, but is, the you know thing is, I mean? that even the videos of him on with um, Anjum Chowdhury have been out a long, long time ago. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but that's what I'm saying. As Adnan, you should at least say, what are these allegations? Are these allegations true? Look at Shamsi. Even though people may not like his method. He questions them on their ideology because he even had a video saying if you don't believe in ISIS, you're a Jew. Well, but yeah. look at Adnan's videos though. He's consistently called out extremists and he's giving you Quran and Hadith wise. Well. I personally, I believe what, the reason I'm trying to I'm bring this up because I think it's a dangerous. Because if we shut people like Adnan down, who's left? But right, do you know he's I mean? been trying to shut down other people by calling them Islamophobes and, and extremists. And, 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 and so, so what, what you? It's like, to the today four times. it's like what they say. What you put out. I we'll come back I disagree to with him, but I'm just saying yeah, but from, what my, you put, from what I've seen, Adnan is yeah, not but the problem. The, the, the like, Bible says, what you sow, you shall reap. Yeah. So when you're sowing out all these seeds of discontent, and then now people see you doing something, I, I don't disagree with why, why is he going to not come for Adnan if he's been saying so lies about him for years and years and years. For years. The point is this year, I am not saying, I'm not going to give a judgment whether Adnan Rashid is extreme or not. The point is, he's a link to people that are extremists. But when? So, so we got 2003. 2003 is yeah, one of them. And yeah. I don't think and he's going to Now, when it comes to no, Abu Qasim, just go it. on to Speaker's Corner Brotherhood. Who's Haytham Aladad? Who is, who is Haytham Aladad? Who is Haytham Aladad? Haytham Aladad? Aladad? Aladad is the teacher, I think, of Ali Dawa. And Usta and uh, Adna Rashid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, oh, I've seen this is Haytham and Adad a moderate Muslim or is he somebody that is uh, banned from certain countries? If you're going to ask me, does Haytham and Adad believe in FGM and stuff like that? From what I've read, yes. I'm going to be honest with you. From what I've read, yes. Ali Dawa or Mohammed Ijab will be able to answer that better for you. But I don't think Haytham Haddad is the issue either. I think if you, I've, I've met Sheikh Haytham Haddad a few times, I disagree with him in, in terms of his mentality and in terms of what he, some of the things he said. But they are the ones that are going to, you know, with Islam now in the UK, you've got a lot of youngsters looking for what it means. These guys are keeping the, the, the roadmans yeah. off the extremism, yeah. right? So if we shoot them down, you know, I see Hey from my dad has obviously gone through cancer recently. He's changed his opinion on a lot of things as well. And he's a good, if you meet him, he's a good, decent man. Yeah. You know what, I need, to, I need to wrap it up. But I, I, yeah. Look, from yourself yeah. and certain individuals, yeah. I can understand why you feel quite protective about that machine. I, I get it, I get it. But you I can't, respect him. But I you, respect you, you, you respect him. Respect and you can't him. expect no, no, other no, people to have the same I level I of respect. You, but so I, 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 I don't like the witch hunt. And what I can, I, like what, what I can say is this year, witch hunt. when it comes to this situation, yeah, no one's going to tell me to not ask questions. I will ask Adnan the questions when Saul and Hashim. Shamsi's told me not to say but it it's right, whether, look, 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 whether, whether they like the way I frame it or not. If Adnan, if Adnan Rashid, if Adnan Rashid last week, yeah, come onto camera and said, okay, that video of me in 2003 was me. I made a mistake, Which it was a long time ago. I've yeah, seen he's one saying like it's not him though. He's saying it's not him. He's, and two weeks ago, it says it's yeah. not him again. So we got a, we got a question. Yeah. He says, he he's says, he says he doesn't know who Abu Qasim hardly knew him, but I saw him hundreds of times with him very close. So the point is, hold on, if I was... Brother, brother, I'm trying to explain to you. Yeah, I'm here to listen. I'm trying to, I'm trying to explain to you that this abominable behavior has come from Muhammad and the Sahaba. And so, yeah, because Muhammad, Muhammad knew what his Sahaba liked and disliked. And so he, he, he painted a heaven 
for them in order to get them on side. Okay. Right? That bit I understand. As a prophet, that's what it must do. Do you understand what I'm when, saying? When did you suck his grandson's tongue? I'm going to read it to you now. Sorry? Yeah. Where did he fall? Where did he what? What did you say? Where did he fall? <laughs> you told me that Muhammad sucked his grandson's tongue. He, 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 he shoved his, his tongue down his grandson's throat. Okay, that's that's enough. Either way, I've never heard that in my life. My okay, right, now this is Al-Bukhari, it's your premier hadith. Al-Bukhari, uh, here it is, so, this is the reference here, you can take a snapshot of it if you want. Take a snapshot if you want. Right, it's Hassan, which means it's a good hadith, and it's Al-Bukhari, so it's your top, it's your top um, hadith, right? Look. It is related that Abu Huraira, I never saw, that's, that's a misprint, S-A-W, I never saw Al-Hassan without my eyes overflowing with tears. That is because the Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, went out one day and I found him in a mosque. He took my hand and I went along with him. He did not speak to me until we reached the market of Banu Nuka. He walked around <coughs> it and looked. Then he left and I left with him until we reached the mosque. He sat down and wrapped himself in his garment. Then he said, where is the little one? Call the little one to me. Hassan came running and jumped onto his lap. Then he put his hand in his beard. Then the Prophet, may Allah bless him, grant him peace, opened his mouth and put his tongue in his mouth. Then he said, oh Allah, I love him. So love him and the one who loves him. That's Bukhari. Okay, That's Bukhari. Uh, where's the source? Like, what, what, Bukhari. What website? Okay. Obviously, now you take the reference of this. I'll I'm showing you the up. reference. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely. If up. you care, take the reference and look it up because that's the reference right there. One one eight three. That is my duty. I have to look it up and prove it for myself. So what I'm trying to say to you is, this is the prophet's behaviour. This is the Sahaba's behaviour, no, right? No. So he's he's accommodating their likes and dislikes and painting a jana to suit them in order to gain their loyalty to go and fight the kafar. He said, if you die, this is what you'll get in Jannah. You'll get boys, you'll get girls, you'll get wine, you'll get this, you'll get that. Depending on what you like. He was a 7th century politician though. That's all he was, that's all he was. That's all he was. Are you Muslim? Are you Muslim? Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Now, you, I'm not saying you like boys, but there are Muslims that like boys. And that's what he was trying to accommodate. That's why you get, there's a marketplace in Jannah. A marketplace. Listen to me, listen to me. There's a market, listen. I've been listening for five minutes. Listen, listen. Now I'm painting something else for you. There's a marketplace in Jannah. There's no buying or selling. And when a man, when a man desires an image, it doesn't say when a man and woman, it says when a man desires the image. Now, you've got images of men and women. So a man is taking a choice of men or women. When he desires that image, he enters the image. And you can guess what it's about. So, so I'm going to read don't. you. The, I'm going to read you what it says. Now hold on, hold on. Yes, my brother. You were speaking for five minutes. Let me just get get a word in, man. You made a look. This is not. This is not heaven. This is hell. That's my point. This is not I, heaven. I see that. I see that. You see that? I see where you're coming from. Yeah. You, you see that it's hell. hell. It's heaven. That's your opinion, my opinion. Oh, okay. So a marketplace like that is heaven for you. No, listen. That's your understanding of the matter. My understanding. I've just read the hadith. You read the hadith, and yeah, I don't know what it's not what my understanding. Is. It's it's, it's Muhammad's words. Muhammad's words. Okay, now you just keep speaking over me. I asked you five times words. Yep. where your sources. You said it's a hadith. Brother, I've just read it to you. Source, What's the website? You don't ask me about a website. I've quoted the hadith. Look it up yourself. So I've like quoted you, the reference. Don't ask me about the website. You're to show me what website you used. Says it all, my friend. Yeah, I have no legs to stand on, I'm sorry. Okay, I've got no legs to stand on. No I'm quoting you references from your own prophet. That could have been yeah. anywhere. Okay, Anyone could have wrote that. Prove to me that's that. wrong. Ah, who? That's what I said. Okay. My duty... I'm here every week. My, I say no. My duty yeah, is to I'm, I'm here every yeah. week. This man is going to come back and prove to me that the reference I've quoted for Al-Bukhari, for Muhammad, I'm not trying to put, his, put, his, 
Oh, so now you don't want to be known? No, well, Ma Ma Muhammad abused his own grandson, Hassan. Poor little Hassan. Didn't even know what was going on. I'm joining the reference. The number. There's a number on it. 1183. Reference 1183. What happens every time? You back out. You back out because you're ashamed and embarrassed. Let me show you about the marketplace. This is the market. Hello. But it could be true. Hello. That's what I'm saying. It could be. It doesn't sound like it. It's not aligned with anything else I've been talking about. It goes against everything. No, because you're talking to me to ignore it. Do you want to hear this hadith? Do you want to hear this hadith about the market? Uh, the market that you just talked about. What I was just talking about, the hadith, yeah. This is Termody. Termody, the reference is. English references, volume 4, book 12, hadith 2550. Ali narrated that the messenger of Allah said, Indeed, in paradise, there is a market in which there is no buying, no selling, except for images of men and women. So whenever a man desires an image, he enters it. So you have a man looking looking in the shop window of men and women and whenever he desires an image of men or women he enters it what do you think about it this is in your heaven that he's painted to you so another hadith i don't believe so you don't believe anything muhammad says no. you don't believe anything muhammad says. do you know that there's authentic hadith and none of it this is termody sahih this is termody it's from termody all the all the hadiths I can't when, once it makes it into Termody, but it's a Sahir hadith. No, that's not how it works. So even, even if it's Hassan, that, you listen to me. Yeah. Even if it's Hassan, yeah. even if it's Daif, it's in Termody. That means it passed. That means it passed. If it's rejected, if it's rejected, it would not be in there. It passed. That's why it's in there. When it's authentic, if it's not authentic, Termody is Termody is authentic. Termody is authentic. I feel sorry for you guys. I feel sorry for you guys. You, 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 you can't take some of what he's offered you and, and, and then accept the rest. Either it's polluted, either it's poisoned, or it's not. You can't try to drink half of poisoned water. You can't. And I'm showing, I'm showing you that it can't possibly be heaven, brother, when he's offering you things like that. It might not be your own taste, but it's some, some Muslims' taste. And that's the devil enticing somebody. Because God doesn't entice someone with sodomy. He doesn't entice someone with... God doesn't entice someone with that kind of abominable, detestable behaviour. That's what the devil does. The devil goes to someone say, and says to them, okay, you're a paedophile, don't worry, you'll be able to have little boys in heaven. That's the devil speaking to you. Jesus offers you eternal life. He offers you heaven with God, glorifying him eternally where there's no, there's no tears, no hunger, no pain, no nothing. There's no real wrap up. There's no real, there's Islam to the wrap up. You see, the thing is, I've just uh, spoken to these guys about about the fact that Muhammad is catering, was catering for a lot of the detestable uh, desires of the Sahaba and the Quraysh and all the Arab nations around him to gain their loyalty so that if they died doing jihad when they raided caravans and invaded other countries that they would get what they want in Jannah which is little boys and a marketplace where they could, where the men, not the women, just the men, could choose between men and women. Detestable.
detestable. This is not God speaking to people. This is the devil enticing people with their own worldly carnal desires, huh? getting into getting into hiding their sin rather than getting them to turn away from their sin. And I just read the hadith, sir, a Muslim here. God bless him. He tried to detach himself immediately from the hadith. Because he knows it's disgusting, but he doesn't know what to say. Cognitive dissonance. Muslims. You can see clearly God is not speaking in your Quran. He's not speaking in your hadith either. And you can't keep defending something which you know to be a lie. It's going to drag you down a pit. I'm pleading with you. Come to know Jesus Christ. He's the way to truth and life. No one goes to the Father except through him. Amen.